in my conversations with the media, never said that this was black and white and that it was a matter of, well, if they have the evidence, then we will make a decision. If they don't, well, uh, as some may have speculated that this was a kangaroo court and, you know, we were just going through the motions because there, there's no uh, sufficient legal or technical evidence. There is a, a, a mountain of circumstantial uh, evidence uh, of allegations of significant corruption, all the way back to when Prime Minister Barrow moved Mr. Saldiva, according to Mr. Saldiva himself, from the Ministry of Immigration, where his sister remained the CEO of immigration and corruption continued in immigration. It is my position as the duly elected leader of the United Democratic Party that John Saldiva should not run for the UDP and should withdraw from politics in the position as an era representative or a standard bearer and deal with all of the matters that have befallen him and I think a retirement from politics at this time is the wise decision, allow for the new breed, the new era to go forward. Uh, I'm sure his wisdom, his advice uh, for the good things that he has done, the good things that he has done for the party, the good contributions that he has made to the party since the time of Manuel Esquivel, Sir Dr. Manuel Esquivel, Prime Minister of Belize. He served Esquivel at Recondev before he became an area representative. He served Prime Minister Barrow. I am grateful to Mr. Saldiva for all of his contributions to the party, but it is my firm belief that the decision made by the special committee signals the end of his political career as an area representative or any official of the party.